All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about five free agents that the Houston Rockets should sign in free agency. I am not a fan of this year's free agency class. Like I, I just, I really am not. Outside of Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi is cool. I, I mean, it's just, I don't like it at all. But I've got a couple of free agents here that I think, at the very least, I want to play around with the idea of fit, money, and just kind of how it would work on the team. Like I said, man, the free agents, outside of like point guards, it just isn't great. We have John Wall. We have Kevin Porter Jr. So really the only point guard, there are a lot of old point guards. The only point guards I would like maybe be interested in are, I, I'm not even interested in Drew Holiday, but like maybe if I get a few drinks in me, I'll be like, eh, Drew Holiday is kind of dope. Um, Lonzo Ball as well, that would be cool. But like I said, man, we just, we, we got John Wall. So I don't really know what they're going to do with that situation, considering he's probably going to need surgery at the end of the year. Who knows? We don't need a point guard though at the end of the day because Kevin Porter Jr. is a beast. We'll get the ball rolling with probably the most obvious one, John Collins. This is really interesting because, first off, he's, he's only making this year a little over $4 million. On the season, he's averaging 18 points, almost eight rebounds, a block. He's shooting 54% from the field and 39% from the three. He's incredibly bouncy. He's a beast out of the pick and roll. He's got a good jump shot, even from deep. Still needs to improve on defense, but his length and his height are what make the Rockets such a good fit. And I don't think that the Hawks will re-sign John Collins because obviously this dude's going to need a lot of money. And well, with all the moves that the Hawks have been making, if you ask me, way too many moves that the Hawks have been making. I think they tried to like kind of steamroll this whole rebuild. They tried to do it way too quickly by signing big name free agents who are way too much money, but that's just my opinion. I don't see them re-signing John Collins, which makes him a good small ball fit for the Houston Rockets if they are just genuinely all on board with going small ball. I think the fit would actually be pretty cool. I would actually really like it. I'll talk about Jared Allen, but the thing about Jared Allen, the thing about the whole Rockets free agency is that there's not even many players that we will target, big name players that we will target. Jared Allen's interesting because this is so unlikely considering he could have been on our team if we wanted to go big. But the thing about John, or Jared Allen is he's just an elite shot blocker. He's a good finisher in the paint. He knows how to use his wingspan. He's averaging 13 points per game, about 10 rebounds, almost two blocks. And he's only making $4 million. So Jared Allen, to me, would just be a great center to have. Just an absolute beast, a tall guy, a big guy. I understand Christian Wood. He's not small by any means, and he's got a big wingspan. He's got over seven feet wingspan. When he bulks up, he'll be much different. He'll be a much different player, but I still I still don't see any world why small ball works because historically, it never has. So I still think having a guy like Jared Allen would help them out, as I'm sure we all would agree. We'll talk about another center. I'm sure you could guess the other center we're going to talk about because this fit is a little more interesting, but I'm not going to throw him in the top five free agents we should think about signing. But I will throw Jared Allen just because of cheapness. Some cool free agents also. Um, they're like DeMar DeRozan's a free agent. Chris Paul's a free agent. Kyle Lowry's a free agent. Here's a player that I think would be very cool on the Houston Rockets, and that's Duncan Robinson. So this season, he's making a little over a million and a half. He's averaging about 13 points per game, four rebounds, shooting 39% from deep. He's really kind of made that stride to that next level this year. He's elite, elite three-point shooter. He's got a quick jump shot, high release point, very hard to contest, and he's very, very, very good at coming off screens and dribble handoffs. 
I think Duncan Robinson would be so good for this team because he is a absolute lethal three-point shooter. And it's kind of what we were looking for in Ben McElmore, but that just didn't it just didn't really work out as much as a lot of us thought it would. Next up, I thought I think this one's interesting. This one's very interesting. Norman Powell, 18 points per game. He's shooting the ball unbelievably. 49% from the field, 44% from deep. He's making almost $11 million, but he's bouncy. He's a swing man. He's just improved so much on offense in the last couple of years, this year as well, specifically. It's awesome to watch. He's a really good three-point shooter, and he can play defense. I really like this. Like, I really, I just like Norman Powell altogether. Obviously, this would mean no more Victor Oladipo, which I am just absolutely for. Absolutely for. Next up, we're going to go with Rashawn Holmes. This is very interesting. Very interesting because he's 6'10". So that fits well with the small ball. Actually, I, that didn't sound right. I think he's 6'11", actually. So that's my bad. I'm pretty sure he's 6'11". High energy. He's a big man. Clearly 6'11". Thrives around the paint. He can finish through contact. He's really good out of the pick and roll as well. Kind of a trend with the Houston Rockets. He's making about 5 mil this year. 13 points per game. 8 rebounds. He's shooting the ball well. A block and a half per game. Fits the small ball look as well. Get some more depth. Get some more guys. Some more star power. Some more young star power as well. There are a lot of people who wanted to get Rashawn Holmes on the team before the James Harden trade to just kind of add some more depth. I think that this still would work out quite well. Rashawn Holmes, man, I, I think that would... I really do. I really do think that would be cool. Lastly, we're going to go with Mitchell Robinson here. I know it's just another center, another center, and they're so unlikely just based off. It's unlikely if you base off what our organization has said in the last couple of weeks about trying to get as small as possible, which doesn't make sense. Mitchell Robinson, I mean, he's so elite at rim protecting. He needs to work on not trying to block every single shot. He fouls out quite a bit. He's a freak athlete. He's extremely, extremely long. He definitely needs some help on the offensive end, but defensively, oh my goodness, absolute beast. Averaging eight and a half blocks, or oh my God, could you imagine? Eight and a half points per game, eight and a half rebounds per game, and a block and a half, only $1.6 million on this year. That's what I got for you guys. That's what I got for you guys. I like it. Some other possible players to just kind of play around with. Kendrick Nunn, Kelly Oubre as well, I think would be a very good fit for our squad. Really, most importantly to me, even THT, bro. I, I think what's just important to the Rockets this season is to really, really kind of pick exactly who you want. Don't oversign. Don't blow all your flexibility here right now in this offseason because you know as cool as the guys I named are outside of Kawhi Leonard no, none of them are clear superstar players so we'll see what they do because personally if you had to ask me I mean Jared Allen Andre Drummond I doubt it just considering the fact how adamant the Rockets seem to be going small ball, but I really hope that they change their mind and that they're just committing to that this season so that they can lose as many games as possible. And I mean, honestly, at the same time, keep everybody's job. You can't really come out and say, hey, we're going to go small because it doesn't work and we know it doesn't work, but we're going to double down that it does work so we can stick to our plan. It doesn't make us seem weak yada 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 we don't even know what's going on with this but there are definitely some players who i think would certainly help out this squad and i think i just named a whole bunch so if you guys enjoyed that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button definitely definitely leave a comment on probably the biggest free agent off-season addition that you want to see the houston rockets make Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys later.